shoving roadkill in his face. Something's happening! Quick, send it again! What's going on? Oh, snap. Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over from me, Lily. This condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Can I check his heart rate? What's happening to this place? Can I check his heart rate? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of this memory now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't destabilize, I'm destabilized too. The shock might come in the damage. You've got to be kidding. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't. Right? Nickel, dude, I'm loving the soundtrack. It's so good. If, if both of us get out under this state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie, and you're no hero. You're just a big moron. I mean, you're just being a moron. Then why are you being... Why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here! Who that? If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. <laughs> you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill! <laughs> Damn it, Neil! This is what I get for helping you cheat through this entrance expanse. <laughs> okay, so they've known each other for a while. By the way, how are you doing, Nickel? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. Doctor. I think we're okay for now. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. They've just been yelling at each other. Wait a minute. Yeah, and at the last Christmas party, you. Oh. Come on, let's go before this happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <laughs> Yeah, it is interesting. It's a it's a storytelling game for sure. If you haven't played it before, you're about to get into serious spoiler territory. Oh, yeah. Yuri's uh laying down the spoiler checks. Thanks for thanks for that, Yuri. Appreciate it. I like the cloud look. Maybe I should have touched that thing that that was on the ground. Whatever that is. Here goes nothing. Yep, that's exactly what I needed to do. Okay, so we just jumped uh, the memories. I'm little, little now. There's a seesaw! Wow, I can't believe that worked. We actually made it. But now I'm... Oh. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Bad music. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Uh, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I... I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Tell me! He 
you're seeing something weird, you gotta tell me. Also, let's play on the seesaw for a second. Damn it. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got to take them there one day. I was talking. Look at this car. It's like green and red speckled. Is this me? Jeez, the time overlaps getting out of hand. Look at how many of him are there. There are. It's like a zoo. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's an arrow. Oh, it's roadkill. All thanks that little fellow's sacrifice. I hope. Okay. Okay. I thought that was a, a finger pointing at something. Hello? Oh. And the color keeps shifting. Be in front of them to talk to him? Oh. Oh jeez, look at the time. We better get going. The store's closer closed early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. The bu bump is speeding up. Is that supposed to be his heart rate? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place. It's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in the memory that could be do such a thing would be... Uh oh Shit! D yeah, is that his heart rate? We need to go back now! Wait! What's going on now? Just shut up and come! Jaws is coming. No! Did I get hit? I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he, when he never did? What? How could we be seeing this here? Oh, when he never did. Okay. Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Wait, what? Oh, uh, what? Did you see in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, 
no. That's why I got called Joey. I was wondering, that didn't make any sense. You called from grandfather. That was weird. Holy shit. Joey! Oh, no. Was he a twin? Joey, can you hear me? Joey! Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey! Wake up! Oh, shit, dude. My mouth is going dry. Fuck that. Oh, that would be so hard. Joey. Even though they were young. Who's a twin brother? It was a twin. Not to mention how their mother must feel. Yeah, dude. All right. That would be horribly traumatizing as the mom. But this is probably why they gave him beta blockers then. Because he never told us about a brother. And the story of Joey never mentioned a brother. That's probably what happened. They probably blocked all that out. Mm. How much did they block out, though? Like, they couldn't have blocked out his whole brother ever existing. At least Johnny had the beta blockers erase that erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Possibly unleaked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of all those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. You see yourself gone a little cuckoo. Yeah, that would send me... I would go insane if I lost a kid like that. At least I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. Yeah, it was an accident. But if she then takes Johnny... For, or what? But if she then takes Johnny for Joey... What about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Heck yeah, let's move on. Fuck, dude. Oh. Mm. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Uh-oh. Don't jinx it. Oh, snap. Dude, you should totally give me this series a try. Give this series a try. Talking about Animorphs. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books at straight. What's it called? Animorphs. Got this group of kids turning in animals to fight mind controlling slugs. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. Eh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great! Instead of going to be boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like. And then they pick up lasers. And it's all. Not that. <laughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day I'm gonna be famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and my really big houses. How would you get rich if you give? Oh wait. How would you get rich if you give away books for free? Free for the kids! The parents will have to pay, of course. And I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. 
What? You're still mad about the other day? Ah, oh, come on. They called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize, anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know, Ma always favored you. Oh, that's sad. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter? And the time we went fishing? And... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. Oh, he's a nice old brother. I mean, hey. If I hear you, she'll just give me another one, right? Oh, that's fucked up. Listen, Johnny. What difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. Cheers, love. The cavalry's here. Sabrina, hey, how are you? I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right? I mean, come on. You're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oi! Let's go confuse the neighbors. Well, you don't like that voice, Sabrina? Sorry, it's stuck around for a bit. Wait, in the rain? Yeah, in the rain, come on! Oh man, this just got heavy. It re it said it changed the text to Joey's favorite childhood books. What was the other one that Bruce and brother deceased since childhood? Oh! Where's the teleport again? Oh, I'm sorry, Sabrina. You have a hot water bottle? How did they get out of here? Oh, you have ice cream, so that's good. That's good. Make sure you take care of yourself. I'm doing well. We're just trying to finish up this game before I have to go to a, a birthday party. Apparently, I had a lot of stuff to, to, to do today, and I forgot about it all. Carnival, huh? Now we look around. How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for like the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Ah, you ruined it. This makes, gives me like a very loose interpretation of the Golden Saucer in Final Fantasy VII. I will. It's uh, Cicellus, actually. Uh, if he pops in, feel free to give him some happy birthday love. Fruits, fresh fruits. Apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We got it all. Wait a minute. Tomatoes aren't fruits. They totally are. Yeah, they are. They're the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. Trivia. But come on. Tomatoes! We never refer to them as fruits. Wee hoo! I haven't enjoyed cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take cooking very seriously. Wisdom. Er, intelligence is knowing that tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing that not to put tomatoes in a fruit salad. Tomato based fruit salad. It's just salsa. And that's what a bard would say. But I don't want this. Oh, wait, that's John. But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. The only train. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Oops. No, no, John. Don't make a scene. Do you want it fair and square, didn't he? But I want to! He just went first!